What's up guys and so welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we are going to be doing things a little bit different. We're going to be building an off-road build and we are going to be using a vehicle that I'm going to be honest, I didn't even really know existed. Um, the Mercedes-Benz X-Class, that, that's all it is, just the X-Class. It's a, a pickup truck here, never offered in the US. It's available in Europe, Australia, South Africa, and South America and uh, it's not the most popular thing it's it's definitely not one of their top sellers but I'm gonna be real I feel like this thing would kill it in the US I feel like the the you know is this a mid-size pickup it looks kind of mid-size ish maybe it's it's kind of in between the two obviously you know some of those locations don't really have the big full-size pickups like we do here in the US but um I feel like the mid-size pickups make it a comeback you know like uh, Ford Ranger and and Toyota Tacoma stuff like that are absolutely killing it so I feel like Mercedes totally could have you know a little bit of market share but I'm excited to check this thing out so we, we I mean it's not the fastest off the bat we're, we're gonna have to work on that we'll see what happens but it actually does have a complete body kit which is crazy it's a brand new body kit we've never seen before in Forza Horizon anywhere it's the pickup design body kit what does that say EXY urban absolutely completely changes the look of the car we've got new badging all over we've got wide body we've got this thing over the bed we've got a way more aggressive rear bumper like this thing looks sick dude Th this is this is insane we're we're going to go ahead and spend 20k on that, no doubt. Let me see what kind of designs and paints we've got from the community here. To be honest, I really feel like ooh, we've got like a, a European police car. That right there is nasty. The yellow with the, the... We need to find exactly what those rims are. We've got Jurassic Park. I don't really get all the Caterpillar references. The gray is not bad there, but this... With like the stripe down the side, that that's nasty. We, we've got to find those rims though. Maybe even not those those rims exactly. We can kind of choose our own rims and see what happens, but we'll just make sure that we keep the uh, the lips and stuff yellow. Let's just try to pick pick something interesting out. See like that right there is not bad. We're obviously going to be able to change the sizing and stuff too. Ooh, see, I really like it when you've got the, the billets in there. That's not bad. Hmm, I, it just kind of depends. Are we going for a more, you know, street look or a more off-road look or what? We we probably want something a little bit more off-road. I wish they separated their rims into more off-road styles and more, you know, kind of tuner styles and stuff. I feel like they don't do the best job of that. Those are pretty nice. I might even go with something like this. Krager Street Lock D Window. I mean, it, it, it looks pretty pretty off-road racy so we're we're gonna go with that can we increase the the rim size a bit should we go huge we don't want to go too big you definitely want some some tire in there let me see what it looks like if we put some some off-road tires on there we're gonna want some some chunky boys there it is that's beautiful it's pretty solid right there it's it's a little bit of sport because i mean it's obviously a very sporty looking truck i don't want to go too too small i was honestly kind of thinking of going to here which looks great but then you have the sportiness of the truck which it doesn't I feel like it doesn't really work. So we're, we're going to stick with this. Maybe we, uh, we we space these bad boys out as far as possible. Beautiful. Get us maximum coverage. Going to go max width on the tires too. Dude, this, this is going to be fantastic. Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks like it could be a Mars Rover. I'm going to put a race clutch in there. Um, probably, I mean, I, I don't want to go too far on the upgrades. We definitely want an off-road differential in there. We're going to run one race with this thing stock. We've done nothing but make this worse with all these upgrades so far. And it's already a D class. It's it's very slow, but it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be something different. I mean, this this is nasty. Look at that, brand new Mercedes X class. I mean, you guys you guys know I'm I'm still rocking my Ford Explorer Sport Track. It was my first vehicle. I got it when I was 15 years old. I had to deal with my mom. She was gonna match whatever money I put towards something. I had like a. a eBay business and a lawn mowing business and a couple of the things and I ended up putting eight grand towards it so she matched it I think it was like 14 or 16 something I can't exactly remember but it was somewhere around there went to the lot loved it I got it because I, I I really wanted an Escalade one of my friends dads had an Escalade that had like subwoofers behind the seats and stuff and I just I thought it was so sick so it was like my, my little mini Escalade I still rock that thing I, I, I still drive it every day I, I, I think it's about time to retire her she's really kind of struggling at this point but um 
and obviously want something a little bit safer, especially because Chelsea drives it a lot and whatever else. But uh, I, I mean, if Mercedes have one of these, I mean, it, it is left-hand drive. Maybe I could import it. I don't know. It'd be fun to have something a little bit different. I've also thought about the uh, Toyota Hiluxes are, are kind of cool just because they're different. Get like a diesel one or something. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. Mid-size pickups. This thing is, uh, this is, this is disgusting. Just look at how sick this thing looks. Look at this. Let me take these off. Look at that. Look at that, like, the, the bug defender thing up top that adds, it almost looks like a front wing of some sort. Look at all the yellow and stuff in here. The big beefy tires. What is that? Is that a bear? Not even sure what that is there. I mean, this thing looks sick. A D-class off-road race. This is going to be a, a white knuckle experience. It's going to be a nail biter. Hopefully, you guys are ready for it. Dude, look at the reflections. You can't see it anymore because there's nothing above us. But we had reflections on the tonneau cover back here. I love this truck, man. I don't know. I like it a lot. I like the look. Obviously, the body kit's helping a lot. Is that thing up by our third brake light a spoiler? I think, <laughs> I think it might. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a design feature, but I think it's meant to act as a spoiler. We're, we're full aerodynamic here. That, that's what this thing was really built for. Oh, I'm trying to pit maneuver me. Not, not going to work today, sir. Even got our tonneau cover closed. Pretty sure the Mythbusters did an episode on that. Then they test. I think it came that having your tailgate down, does it save you guys mileage or is that a myth? I forget. I'll have to look it up. I know covering the tonneau cover would, would definitely. Ooh, a little switch back there. Beautiful up into P4. Uh, a, a, having a tonneau cover closed would definitely increase your, your aerodynamics though. So here we go, just a few guys to beat. Feels like we're racing in slow-mo. We're gonna go back to the drawing board after this. We're gonna add some more speed to our formula and I think we're gonna have a, a, a winner here. I think this thing's gonna be a, a pretty a pretty sick episode. Ooh, cutting a couple corners there, kinda. The Willy Jeep, rest in peace. Used to get along real well with him. Got us lots of super wheel spins and such, but unfortunately all good things in life must come to an end. It's actually one of the best off-road vehicles in this game right there. We might have a hard time passing him. We gotta we gotta be smart here. Good news is we got plenty of time to think about our moves before we actually make them. Like this one right here. Hit him with the switch back. Beautiful. There it is. Just don't miss your checkpoints, you're good to go, Trev. Should be able to bring this one home, no problem. You gotta keep in mind, I mean, we're, we're slow. We're, we're a D-class here. We made ourselves slower. Like, these big, beefy, wide tires are, are fun. But they're, especially in terrain like this, I don't I don't think they're really all that effective. The, the body kit slowed us down as well, so... This is not the most uh, effective of, of vehicles for us to, to use, but that's okay. I'm telling you, man, something like this would absolutely kill it. The fit and finish and quality of Mercedes. Where can you get that? I mean, you can get it in a full, a full size, you know, F-150 King Ranch or something like that. But a smaller truck for people who don't really need like a big work truck and just want a pickup to be a little bit more practical, but also have the fit and finish of a, a German sports car. That'd be pretty sick. I'd buy it. I would definitely buy it. With the market, I'm looking around. I don't know. I've, I've got a Cybertruck reserved. I've got a, an F-150 Lightning reserved. I talk about this in, on Twitter and stuff sometimes. Who knows when the Cybertruck's actually coming? F-150 is definitely going to be a lot closer. I think the Hummer's sick. The Rivian R1T I was looking in, into the other day is pretty sick. I kind of want to go electric just to try it out. I've always, you know, I like tech. I always wanted something fun and, and future-facing like that. Mercedes, if you're watching this video, which I know you probably are, because that's a big part of your, you know, uh, consumer research. Bring the X-Class. Throw some batteries in it. I'll buy it. He was barking down my tree the whole time, but we got it, baby. That is a W. Dude, this thing is sick. That looks so sick. Don't... You can't tell me that doesn't look sick. This is a great-looking vehicle. All right. Back to the drawing board.
7.2 liter racing V8, a positive displacement supercharger, maximum upgrades across every engine, brake, and everything else component we could possibly get our hands on, 82,400 credits later, which is like 20 something more than what we actually paid for the stock truck, <laughs> more than doubled the price of this thing, she's finally where we wanted to be in terms of performance. Now, this is a real race here, baby. We're actually going to have to uh, have some, you know, close calls and reaction time. We aren't going to have 15 seconds before every turn to be able to decide exactly where we're going to end up right into the back of an F-150. All right. Oh, my goodness, dude. Okay, let's, let's get off-road. We are sliding. She does not like the asphalt. She's quick. Not gonna lie, she's quick, but she, she, okay, we're, we can actually work it out. Here we go. So this is like a, a cross country wilds race. All right, I, I lied. We, we may not be able to work it out. She is all over the place, dude. She's got a lot of power though. We're sticking with these guys, even with a couple of back corners. So that's good. Here we go. Looks like we're about 32% of the way through here. Climb our way to the top of this hill. Oh, my goodness. Just uh, get in where we can, baby. Are we not going to have any off-roading in this? Please tell me we're going to go off-road. There it is. This this is what we've been looking for. This is where she she should start to start to shine a little bit. Oh, yeah, dude. Look, look at the, the pickup we had there. Woo! Quick on the gas, try to get around this Bronco. Just kidding, he's gonna completely cut me off. That's fine, no big deal. Oh my gosh, dude. We're good. A lot of cutbacks here, a lot of, you know, very sharp turns. So we just gotta be wary of our speed. I feel like we are all over these guys though. 73% of the way through, let's, let's fight Trev, let's fight. Bring the dog out. Bring the dog out. Not try to straight run into people. We kind of took that corner a little bit too strong. But we're okay. Here we go. Gonna try to get him around the outside. Just kidding. Not gonna get him there. Got him on the inside though. Let's go, baby. 13% left. That was, it's not over yet. Oh, find some, find some room. There we got it, okay. Cut it back, we should be good through here. Dude, she just, she doesn't listen. She just keeps gliding right into the walls. Whew. Nice little clutch pass at the end to be able to finish things out. Okay, this, I can feel this being pretty good. I, I like it. I kind of want to do another circuit race so we can kind of get a slightly better feel for it. Obviously in the point to points, it's, it's kind of all over the place. Probably could have been a little bit more refined in that one, but it's all right. She's a beast, dude. I mean, we've, we've got well over a thousand horsepower at this point. So, of course she is. Oh, my goodness. Some of these vehicles, now they, they take off. The acceleration that we've got in these off-road things in this class here. Here we go. Let's let's get it. So, this is, this is I forget what the name of it is, but it's, it's a scramble. So, we're going to have multiple laps. We're going to want to learn it a little bit. Looks like we've got a nice, healthy mix of on and off-road. Try to keep it on road where we can. Come on, baby. Don't, don't don't get too nasty on me, Trev. That's gonna be a good corner for us if we can if we can stick that every time. Oof. Right into the back of the G-Wagon. Excuse me, sir. Gotta get through here. Dude, this thing it I feel like we're like rubber banding. Like we we you know kind of mess up a corner a little bit. And then our acceleration just makes up for it. I feel like we're so much faster than some of these guys. Obviously, as we get up into the top three, makes it a little bit more interesting. Got to be a little bit more methodical, but e brake on them. Try to get a little slide in. Usually sliding is, is not your friend, but sometimes it adds, adds some style points. All right, that's going to be lap number one down. We're up into the, uh, I did bump the difficulty up one, so we're, I think we might be on un unbeatable. It's got to be, right? It's expert and then unbeatable. Woo! Slid around that entire thing, but didn't go anywhere. It didn't... I mean, it, it looked cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch these guys now. I think I got a little bit too confident. Come on. Just kept that pin the whole time. 
Shoot. Okay. I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to back this up a little bit. I'm. I'm asking for a little bit too much of it, especially on these asphalt parts. She just. She gets. She gets a little combative in the asphalt. Woo! That is the spot where we're gonna be able to make all of our moves. Oh, we might even be able to get second place here, baby. Got Onslaught and the white Ford. Come on. This is, I, I'm gonna be honest, this is a pretty tough, pretty tough scramble. Here we go, come around this way. Oh, I tried to try to get a piece of you. I mean, I, I gotta take, I gotta take what I can get. We're gonna take what we can get. We are so far behind first. We've got one lap to catch him. I don't, I, I don't see any any metaverse, multiverse, whatever you want to call it that we're we're ever gonna catch him. It's my favorite part of the track right here. Just come whipping around here. Oh, you've got the bank that kind of saves you. Oh my goodness! And into the wall. That's okay. Dude, this, I mean, this thing's fun. It, I wouldn't say it's the, the best off-road vehicle we've ever used. I think it's one of the better looking ones. It, it, I, it might be the spacing that we put on our wheels, but something feels a little bit off in some of the corners. I just, I don't, I don't feel very confident in a lot of the corners, but, um, she was a good time. There's, there's no, no doubt about that. Slide around here. Beautiful. See, we're, we're starting to kind of learn where to, you know, touch your bells and whistles but a little too little too late so we're going to end up taking first first and second thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to see you guys in our next episode let me know what car you guys want to see next we're going to keep on grinding i dude i love this game i, I just i love it that's all there is to it cars customization racing can't go wrong thanks for watching guys drop a like subscribe if you haven't already peace out